Hello, welcome to the Word Scriptures podcast. My name is Dion Cameron and I'm your host and I'm so happy that you could join with me for today's episode. The purpose of the Word Scriptures podcast is to strengthen us, the body of Christ, in our faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So the more that we hear the Word of God, the more that we read the Word of God, the more that our faith is strengthened. My topic today is God is able to do exceedingly far above what we ask of him. Now we know that there are situations in our lives where we need God's supernatural help for a breakthrough. There are times of testing that God brings us to, just like how he brought the Israelites to the Red Sea, a time of testing to see if we're going to trust in him and trust in his ability to deliver us. And that is why my topic today is God is able to do exceedingly far above what we ask of him. In the book of Exodus, after God had delivered the Israelites from Egypt, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though it was shorter. For God knew that if they faced war, that they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. God had a plan. Let's read God's plan in Exodus chapter 14, verse 3. Pharaoh will think the Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion, hemmed in by the desert, God said, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will pursue them. But I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army, and the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites obeyed. Pharaoh fell for God's trap. And he had his great army begin to pursue the Israelites because he thought they were confused. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his great army pursuing them, great fear came upon them. They had the mountains on the side of them. They had the Red Sea in front of them and they had Pharaoh and his army pursuing them. They felt trapped. They felt that there was no way out. They were terrified and they cried out to the Lord. In verse 11, Exodus chapter 14, verse 11, they said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone? Let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. We all know what happened in the story. God had Moses stretch out his hand with his staff and the waters in the Red Sea receded and the people were able to cross over on dry land. And when they had crossed the Red Sea, God then had Moses stretch out his hand again. By this time, Pharaoh and his great army, they were in the dry bed. They were on dry ground because the waters had receded to the left and to the right as a great wall. Let's pick up the story found in Exodus chapter 14, verse 23. It reads, The Egyptians pursued them, and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. He jammed the wheels of their chariots so that they had difficulty driving. And the Egyptians said, let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. 
Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church, and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. God is able. Able means having the power, the skill, the means, or the opportunity to do something. Luke one thirty seven says, For nothing will be impossible with God. Matthew 19.26 says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17 says, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. And Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? God is able. God is able to deliver us from evil and harm. In Daniel chapter 3, God delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from a fiery furnace. They were thrown into a fiery furnace because of their refusal to bow to an idol. They declared to King Nebuchadnezzar when he threatened them, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it, and he will rescue us from your hand. O king, but even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. God delivered the three Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace unharmed. Only the shackles that they were bound with were burnt. The fire did not harm their bodies, nor was a hair of their heads singed. Their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. God is able to deliver. He allows the fiery trials in our lives so that the fire can burn and destroy the chains that have us bound. God is able. God is able to provide for our needs. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, And my God will liberally supply... Fill to the full our every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. In 2 Kings 4, God provided for a widow who was in desperate need. Her husband, who was a prophet, had died. She was in great debt, and the creditors were about to take her sons into slavery until the debt was paid off. God performed a miracle, and she was able to keep her sons out of slavery pay off her debts, and live a comfortable life. God is able. In John chapter 6, Jesus fed over 5,000 people with five loaves and two fishes. Jesus multiplied the food that was given to him. God is able to supply all of our needs. He is able to bless and multiply whatever little that we bring to him. God has the ability to heal us. God is able to heal. He heals us spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says, speaking of Jesus, 
but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. In Luke chapter 8, verses 43 through 48, Jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood. She had struggled with her illness for years and had spent all her finances trying to get healed. In an instance, when she touched Jesus' garment, she was healed. She placed a demand on Jesus' anointing and was immediately healed. God is able. Matthew chapter 4, verses 23 and 24 says, Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over Syria and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain, the demon possessed, those having seizures and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Acts 10.38 says, God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, and he went about healing all those oppressed by the devil because God was with him. Sometimes God heals us by taking us to himself through death. That is the ultimate healing because we are transformed and we receive our new bodies and we will never get ill again. God is able to heal and restore our fortunes and whatever we have lost in this life. We have the example of Job. Job 42 verse 10 says, After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the trouble the Lord had brought on him, and each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the former part. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. The first daughter he named Jemima, the second Kizia, and the third Karen Hapok. Nowhere in all the land were there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years. He saw his children and their children to the fourth generation. And so Job died an old man and full of years. In Matthew chapter 12, Jesus healed the withered uh, hand of a man. The hand symbolizes prosperity. It also symbolizes strength. It also symbolizes blessing. This man's blessing, his hand, had dried up. However, God restored his right hand. God restored his blessing. God is able to restore our fortunes. God is able to restore everything which we have lost. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 says, The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Psalm 112 verses 1 through 4 says, Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. God is able to help us to overcome whatever difficulty or mountainous situation that we face in our lives. The psalmist wrote in Psalm 18 verses 28 through 30, you, O Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. 
With your help, I can advance the, against a troop. With God, I can scale a wall. As we continue to pray and seek God's face, he will give us the wisdom and the strategies on how to overcome any difficult situation. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. Psalm 32 verse 8 says, I, God, will instruct you and teach you the way to go. Jesus, our shepherd, promises to lead us and guide us in the way that we should go. In Job 42, verse 1, Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things. No plan of yours can be thwarted. God is able. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If these podcasts have blessed you, will you please consider sending a contribution to this ministry so that we can keep making more quality podcasts? You can donate at www.paypal.me slash we're scriptures or donate on our website. And please pay it forward. Please send this podcast to someone who can be encouraged. We invite you to visit our store, wearscriptures.com, where you can purchase Christian clothing, Christian art, Christian gifts, etc. Strengthen your faith, wear scriptures. And we also invite you to visit kingdomshop.com, that's K-I-N-G-D-O-M-S-H-O-P-P-E.com, where you can get unique gifts and quality brands such as electronics, home decor, jewelry, fragrances, and more. Enhance your kingdom by kingdomshop.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts and subscribe wherever you listen. Your review helps the show reach more people and spread the gospel. Shalom.